Hey again, Jason, and welcome to the next section of this Fade to Black outro solo. Hope you got alright with the first part. Let's get straight on with the next bit, alright? So, so far, we've got... <laughs> the end point of the first section. So what we do now, if you go to the 7th fret on the D, and then ninth fret on the D, and play the ninth fret twice, so you've got this. Alright, now we're going to go to the 7th fret of the G, and the ninth fret of the G, we're going to do that sort of bluesy bend again, so you get this. Seven, nine, bend up to the 11th, release back down to the 9th, pull off to the 7th. So we've got this. And what you do then is you play the 9th again and the 7th again. So you get this. And you play the 9th fret of the D again. 7th fret of the G. And then it comes to the first sort of fast section of the solo. So, so far, I'll take you from the end of the last bit, alright? So we get this. Now once you've got it down, it's quite simple and it's repeated eight times, alright? What you do is you bend the ninth fret, I'll do this with uh, the volume down a little bit so you can hear the notes. You bend the ninth fret up to the 11th on the G string. And then you play the seventh fret of the top E. And then the tenth fret of the B, pull off to the seventh fret of the B. So those notes again. You do that eight times, so I'll show you what I mean um, with the volume back up again. So you get something like this. Alright, so eight times through. The second part, uh, the fast notes, this is easy once you've memorised it. What you do is you're going to play the tenth fret of the top E, and then you're going to pull off to the seventh fret of the top E, and then you're going to play the tenth fret of the B, and then the seventh fret of the E again, so you get this. Alright, now you do that once, and then you repeat the first two notes uh, the second time around, so you get this. And you do that again, and that's the complete section, now you repeat that whole thing twice. So I run it through nice and slow, so you got this. And again. Alright, so coming from that blues bit, it goes like this. Alright, and then the last bit of the uh, riff is a bend up on the 10th fret of the top E, up to the 12th, and you play that twice. Alright. And there's just a little rundown, three notes at a time again, like we did in the first section. What you do, 10th, 8th and 7th on the E string. And then you start the next note down, which is obviously the 8th. So you go 8, 7 on the E. 10th on the B. So you get this. 7th fret on the E. 10th fret on the B. 8th fret on the B. Alright, so now we've got... 10th fret on the B, 8th fret on the B, 7th fret on the B. Now we've got this. 8th fret on the B, 7th fret on the B, 9th on the G. Now we've got this. And then 7th fret on the B, 9th fret on the B, 
on the G, sorry, and then seventh fret on the G. And that finishes that riff off. So the whole thing. Right, so I'm gonna play the riff nice and slow all the way through for you, mate. Where are we up to now? And then I'll play it at full speed. So here we go. Let me know as soon as you finish and we'll get straight on with the next section. Good luck, buddy.